Today we're going to remove the thermostat on this 2020 Kia Optima. First things we're going to do is remove this cover from here using a 10 millimeter socket. All right, and there it is, 10 mil, and I'm just using a extension in the 10 deep socket. I'm going to use my speed ratchet to help me out. This makes life so much more easier. All right, and we'll set these bolts over to the side. We'll remove this cover from here and wiggle it back and forth. There it is, and we'll set this on the ground. All right, next we're going to do is remove this box from here. There's a bolt down here, and I believe there's another one down in here. But first things first, we're going to disconnect this pipe from here and this hose holding on to this air box. All right, using the same pan mill, we'll open up this hose clamp. And then we'll use uh, needle nose pliers to move this back and remove that hose. All right, remove the hose back. I like to break it loose like so. Then you can use the needle nose itself to kind of slide this back out. And, and if it doesn't, old school method. Just pull and shake it up and down. There it is, sweet. Same thing with this one here. Slide the sucker out. Sweet. Now we have that 10 mil right here. Let me grab a light. All right, so there is a 10 mil there and looks like there is another 10 mil right behind these wires. So what we're gonna do is disconnect the negative terminal so we'll be able to disconnect the positive terminal. You wanna disconnect the negative one first, then the positive. And these are both still a size 10. Once you have these loose, remove the negative, anchor this down, the positive, shake this sucker out, move this over, and then you have access to your other 10 mil bolt. You know what, since I already have the battery disconnected, I'm also going to remove it. Using a 12 millimeter socket, I am using a three inch and a six inch extension with my little speed ratchet here. Using a 12 speed socket, I am removing the battery clamp that's holding down the battery here. Set this over to the side, and then we'll be able to remove our battery and set this over to the side as well. Little heat shield stayed behind. Just put this back into place. All right, now we have a lot of access. We probably don't even need to remove all of this, but we're ready to it. Um, Cause I could access this last bolt. One, two, and three. But you know, if you do move this, so much more room. I mean, you're already in here. Might as well learn something. Else. So, 10 mil. Part two, three. Air box is already coming up. Set these to the side. Kind of want to remember where everything is at. I like to put everything in pairs as they came out. There it is. Okay, so this is loose. Uh, looks like it's attached something back here. Uh, and it's just a rubber grommet. So just pull this up and out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Set this to the ground. Look at all the broom we have for extra activities. All right, so now we're gonna remove these bolts from here. This will drop coolant. Um, what I am going to do first is disconnect this hose, pull this hose up so it drops as minimal as possible. Um, I am going to put a coolant catch pan at the bottom uh, so it can catch whatever it can catch and then we'll remove the bolts holding the thermostat into place. Um, before you do do this, you wanna make sure the vehicle is nice and cold um, because the system will be under pressure. And uh, I'm just using pliers to remove that clamp backwards. There we have it. I can use those same pliers to break this loose. Mm, but I actually have these here and these will apply more pressure, better pressure, more grip, and it's the perfect angle. So there, broke the hose loose. I saw a little bit of coolant squirt out. Bring this up. 
just attach it there so it stops to leak coolant now we'll remove the thermostat as soon as we remove the thermostat it will leak more coolant from the engine all right now i'm going to be using a 10 mil deep socket with a swivel just to be able to get that bottom one because that bottom one it is at a little bit weird angle but this tool i love it gets everything done and we'll set these down and here comes the thermostat ah, still on there ah, there it is and there's the excessive coolant draining out sweet and that is how we remove the thermostat on this 2020 kia optima this is a plastic housing um you know what i think i'm gonna just plug that up until i get the new thermostat <laughs> this is plastic housing um it does come with a new gasket there well the new one will come with a new gasket but i am going to just scuff up the surface up uh with a green scotch bright just to clean it up um i have a green scotch bright right there and then uh we'll install the new thermostat we'll add coolant to the system we'll burp the system and then we should be good to go sweet but this video is just of how to remove the thermostat uh, stay tuned for the next video of how to install it thank you for watching please like subscribe